Big news out of South Dakota Mines today, I'll tell you what. Uh, and this is going to be interesting. The first South Dakota University to do this, and they break the news today, eSports is going to be an official competitive sport starting this next fall in 2018. The athletic director at South Dakota Mines is Joel Lucan, and he's on Fox Sports Rapid City. Joel, good to get you on. How are you? I'm doing great, Nate. Hey, thanks for having me on today. You bet. I appreciate it. I want to ask you about this because this is going to get some headlines. It's going to get some uh, conversation going. I just want to ask you, though, eSports, I was there at South Dakota Mines. This must have come up pretty quickly, and I want to ask you from your standpoint, how did this get going? What did you see here? Why did you guys end up getting this done and launching this? Well, it's, uh, it fits our demographic. This is, uh, this is a grand slam in, in my eyes for the demographic of students that we have um, here at South Dakota School of Mines. Um, this, is a, this is a billion dollar industry. Um, you know, I was at a clinic in Des Moines um, two weekends ago, and uh, it's a $110 billion industry. So this, I can see this benefiting the institution down the road also, where we can get some of our, um, our bright um, students to, to work for this industry, let alone compete in it uh, as hard rocker athletics. Yeah. And uh, I, I was approached by uh, our student club organization and uh, one of the professors here on campus, and when they made their presentation, it, it was just a no-brainer for us. It's very interesting from that standpoint. South Dakota Mines um, adding esports, and we'll get into that. I think the interesting part is how much bigger it could be um, when it comes to alumni that may compete there as esports um, in your athletic department that graduate and how that moves things forward. We'll get into that. But I want to ask you the NBA's on this, they've got professional esports teams, most of the organizations, not all of them, most of them. The NHL just announced they're going to do their first esports tournament. Um, this is something that seems like it's in the grassroots. Some universities are on this. You guys are first in South Dakota. You've been an old athlete, man. You're a baseball guy. So I want to ask you, did you uh, have any skepticism? Did you start to, you know, some of the sports people say, esports, what, is, is this really going to happen? What was your initial take? Well, you know, uh, obviously to start off with, I was a, a bit skeptical. But then the presentation that, uh, that our student organization made, um, along with John Keller, um, I mean, they showed us numbers. There were, there were more people watching the championship of esports than the NHL, the NBA, and Major League Baseball combined last year. <laughs> um, and and it's, it's a billion-dollar industry, like I was saying earlier, that you just you, you, you can't turn your head the other way. Do you think the RMAC, you're, you're in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, um, what's going to be their read on it? I think you guys are on the front end of this. I really do. What do you think how this is going to move forward from a competitive standpoint? Well, it's kind of funny you mentioned that because we, we did our press release and I just got an email from the commissioner saying congratulations on opening the floodgates. <laughs> um, so I, my response was, is you know, would, would the RMAC be interested in entertaining sponsoring esports? And he said, yes, if we can get the right number of institutions um, to, to form a competitive league. So I think this is just right around the corner. Oh, excuse me. I think uh, once the NCAA figures out how it can, um, you know, sort of police what's going on, that they're going to get involved as well. There's a there's an organization um, that we're most likely going to uh, um, join, which is NACE, NAC Esports. Um, it's an organization that that uh, you know they want to perpetuate the the sport. They want to grow it. Um, they want to support it, and they want to help, um, you know, provide guidelines and things like that. So, um, you know, we're not, we're not just dipping our toe in the, in the pond here on this. We're jumping in both feet. 
Yeah, no doubt. Joel Lucan on Athletic Director, South Dakota Mines. They just released this. Esports going to be an official program that they're starting, and it's going to kick off in the fall of 2018, a varsity uh, roster. And, and that's kind of how what happens now, right? You're administrating the athletic department. So how's this going to come together? Is there is there going to be a player coach? You know, Do you have to recruit kids? How's this going to come together at the university? Yeah, so we're going to hire a coordinator, and, and what the coordinator will, will do is, is he, she will, um, you know, put the teams together. We're going to compete in the League of Legends first, so the way my understanding this works, we can tier our teams and have two or three or four different Leagues of Legend teams, depending on how our players rank within the League of Legends divisions, and then, um, you know, the coordinator will evaluate along with me, depending on scholarships and, and budget and things like that. We'll see if we can expand maybe a couple more League of Legends teams. But our hope is is we can get, you know, anywhere between seven to ten new um, eSport athletes here in, um, so that we can get the, get the ball rolling. By the way, I look at it big picture-wise. Some people don't understand this, so I want to get a clear explanation you get folks engaged. The engagement's going to uh, rise when it comes to your student body, kids that come to South Dakota Mines to not only for the education, but now to be a part of this eSports program under your athletic department. Then those kids go on. You talked about it. Maybe they get jobs in this industry. It fits so well with the academic side there. Maybe they... Um, also, because of their engagement on a team, we know the numbers. If you're on a team, whether it's basketball, football, esports, whatever, you're more engaged moving forward as an alumni. What is President Rankin, new president of South Dakota Mines? It seems like he's behind this too, as far as what it does for the university. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, Nate, as a, as a former athlete, the uh, you know the adaptability, the resourcefulness, the communication skills, the teamwork the dedication, the engagement that this all brings, um, you know, just like any other sport, these kids are learning the same thing, <laughs> time management. Um, I mean, it, all assets and skills that employee, employers are looking um, when they're trying to hire new people. No question about it. Um, I want to ask, there are other universities, right, Joel? I've seen a big program at the University of Utah. So there's some big universities. It's it's not just, oh, we're going to see how this thing goes. Universities might get more active in this, even you know from D1 all the way. You guys are D2. You're the first university in South Dakota. Um, how fast do you think this is going to grow? Oh, I would say that uh, by fall of of uh, 18, it'll 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 double in size what it currently is. <laughs> so you, example, you've that, you've heard people talking about it at at conferences, things of that nature. You've been at? Oh, absolutely. Um, the Big Ten has signed an agreement with Riot, which is the League of Legends, and um, we all know the Big Ten is Division One. Uh, Division Two, the Peach Belt Conference has signed an agreement to to sponsor a League of Legends um, a tournament. So it's only a matter of time before this hits uh, the country nationwide, and it'll quickly, quickly become the fastest-growing sport in the country. What about an event here in Rapid City? I know you're probably going to do some things at South Dakota Mines, but I think about this could be something to where some of these eSports events are so big, you wonder if you could put something on in Rapid City that could be huge in the next couple of years. Oh, absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, we've, we've, we've been kind of behind the curtain, so to speak, working with Rapid City uh, Sports Group. Um, you know, uh, we had a meeting a couple uh, weeks ago, and I mentioned that we were, you know, about at that time about 90% sure we were going to start eSports. Um, I could see this where we could host a really nice event here in Rapid City and get uh, teams from all over the country to come see, you know, 
uh, Western South Dakota, the Black Hills, and and uh, Rapid City have to offer. I'll tell you what, South Dakota Mines, beginning fall 2018, the first South Dakota University offering eSports as a new team under the Hard Rocker Athletic umbrella. Uh, The athletic director is Joel Lucan at South Dakota Mines. Hardest question of the day. So now you have some football guys or or basketball guys, and they're going to send you an email and say, Hey, uh, what's what's the deal? Esports? What, what's what's the story? What's uh, going to be your answer to these guys that are skeptical? I, I'm going to say that we have to, you know, uh, keep moving forward. And this, like I said when I first when I first got on here, Nate, this is a this is a grand slam for our type of institution. Um, the industry is growing. Um, this is a great opportunity for our institution to grow, to get into to another market where our alumni can get jobs. Um, this was this was it was a grand slam. There's there's no looking back on this, and uh, I'm really excited uh, about what esports brings to Hard Rocker Athletics. Well, I commend you for pulling the trigger on it. No question, um, got it done pretty quick. Uh, the president's behind it. You're behind it. Uh, some students already kind of getting this thing cranking. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this as as esports just kind of taking off. NBA, NHL, uh, and now here in South Dakota at South Dakota Mines, the AD for the Hard Rockers, Joel Luke and Joel. Thanks for coming on, man. Good luck. Thanks, Nate. Take care. All right, appreciate it. Joel Lucan, Athletic Director, South Dakota Mines, here on Fox Sports Rap.